Steve, thanks so much. And as Steve just mentioned this morning, an elevated fire risk continues across the state. And those recent warm, windy conditions fueling that risk. And Kristen Allen joining us live, just getting into Marinette County this morning. Kristen, what do you know about what's happening there and when this could let up? Well, it's really going to depend on when we get a significant rainfall. And as you just heard Steve say, the chances of that happening anytime soon aren't very good. That along with those warm, windy conditions that we've seen recently aren't helping the situation month. So it could be persisting for a while yet. Right now, according to the DNR, most of the state is under a high fire danger risk right now. Some of the southern counties in a moderate risk, while Oconto and Marinette, where we are, remain very high. Still, the Department of Natural Resources is encouraging everyone to take precautions. That includes not burning any debris. Now, of course, is a time when a lot of people are doing yard work outside and removing brush. The DNR is asking you to hold off on burning that for just a bit longer. It only takes a spark from burning or even using machinery that can ignite a fire in the dry brush or vegetation. These types of conditions are typically seen in the spring, but the DNR says that is starting to change. It is kind of the you know new normal, I would say, um, being a little bit drier in the fall now, and we have maybe a fall fire season, even if it's for a couple of weeks. We're kind of just seeing this trend of you know these dry conditions leading up into winter. And the DNR says that to the last week to week and a half, there haven't been any large scale fires in the state. Thankfully, the ranger that we spoke with says he thinks people are taking the warnings about not burning seriously. Reporting live in Marinette County, Krista Dallin, Action 2 News.